Sales Babble is sponsored by Pearl Diver, turning website visits into leads. And Sales Babble is sponsored by the Science of Scaling podcast, helping businesses scale revenue. This is the Sales Babble podcast, episode 493. What is the Dow of Sales Babble? These days, everyone shops online before reaching out to a company's sales team. I know I do. Oftentimes, I may be visiting their website and I see what I want, but I don't sign up. Instead, I say to myself, I'll come back to it later today. But I don't. And I'm not the only one like this. In fact, that's what your prospective customers are doing every day at your website. They're hot prospects, but you don't know who they are. This is where our sponsor, Pearl Diver, comes in. Pearl Diver makes visible these invisible visitors. Using big data technology, Pearl Diver gives you the name, email, phone number, and even the physical address of these hot prospects. With this demographic data, you can target your ideal clients with an email marketing campaign or go old school with a cold outreach campaign. In either case, you're talking to warm leads who took action to visit your website. You can't get a hotter lead than this. Go to pearldiver.io to view the software, download sample data, and book a demo. Again, that's pearldiver.io. See who's behind the clicks. This week, I've been listening to the Science of Scaling podcast, hosted by Mark Roberge. Mark is the best-selling author of the Sales Acceleration Formula and a senior lecturer at Harvard Business School. Well, each week, he interviews some of the most successful sales leaders in tech. People like Mike Weir and Kyle Parrish, VP of Sales at Figma. As you folks know, my entire career has been in the tech and startup space. And as VP of Sales, I know the importance of having a close relationship with marketing, development, and support. That's why the message Kyle Parrish shared on the Science of Scaling podcast really resounds with me. Kyle's insights on focusing on the overall customer experience is spot on. This podcast provides actionable advice any business looking to scale for growth will value. Check it out. Search for The Science of Scaling in your favorite podcast app. That's The Science of Scaling podcast. And you can also find links in the show notes. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, Sales Babblers. This is Pat Helmers, and this is the podcast where we apply the Taoist philosophy to some aspect of sales. We may talk about prospecting or qualifying and closing and share some practical Taoist examples using Little parables involving Pat, Chris, and Lee. I'm unusually fascinated by this topic. You might call me a bit of a fanatic, and I've coined this topic the Tao of sales babble. Why babble? Well, to quote Lao Tzu, sincere words are not fine. Fine words are not sincere. Lao Tzu taught that understanding and wisdom do not necessarily rely on eloquent or elaborate speech. When it comes to sales, there's a plethora of babble about selling, and as you know, most of it's negative. I believe that true wisdom comes from sincerity and a deeper connection to the fundamental truths. That's what I call the Tao of sales babble. Today, let's babble about those fundamental truths. But before we do that, make sure and subscribe to the podcast. That way, you'll never miss an episode. And so, with no further ado, let's get to it. And now, today's chapter, The Tao of Sales Babble. The Tao of Sales Babble is the center of all selling, the seasoned seller's treasure, the new seller's refuge. Honors can be won with fine pitches. Respect can be earned by exceeding quota. But the Tao of sales babble is for everyone, not just the rich and powerful. Don't offer the new leader platitudes and praise. Offer the Tao sales babble. 
its wisdom never runs out. Why is it respected? Because it works. You can always find what you need in it. When you make a mistake, it's forgiven. Trouble never finds you. And now today's story. The new boss, Pat, started today. Chris had heard that Pat had a storied career and held company records for the number of closed sales and revenue dollars. Given Pat's record, Chris assumed Pat was another hard-charging sales manager, bent on being the best and the richest. It's great to meet you, Chris, Pat started. I'd like to learn all about you, what you're working on, your expectations for the year. Do you have a sales philosophy? What is it? Chris took in a deep breath and considered pivoting by complimenting Pat and repeating back all the accolades that had been shared on Pat's biography. But as a devotee of the Dow sales babble, Chris took a different path. I think it's best to take each deal as it comes and let the buyers dictate the pace and scale. Strong-arming prospects into buying never works. It's best to have a full sales funnel and let the deals work at their own schedule. That's how I've found success. Pat smiled when hearing this. It was unexpected. With a lowered voice, Pat said, Chris, I think you and I are going to get along very well. Lao Tzu says, quote, All streams flow to the sea because it is lower than they are. Humility gives it its power. If you want to govern the people, you must place yourself below them. If you want to lead the people, you must learn how to follow them. End quote. This is what it means to be a good boss. The Tao of sales babbles for all sellers. It has a feel that's egalitarian. It doesn't lord over anyone. The Tao of sales babble is instinctual. Once you know it, you know what to do. It cannot be put in the words. Yet here I am, trying to explain it in words. I just want you folks to know, I do what I can here on the podcast. Now to download a copy of this week's Tao of sales babble, you can find it in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for our brief weekly newsletter with links to the podcast conveniently sent into your inbox. You can also find in the show notes links to our sponsors, like Pearl Diver, who turn website visits into leads, and our sponsor, the Science of Scaling podcast, helping businesses scale revenue. Now, did you find value in this episode? If so, please share it with a friend, just one person who is open to growing their selling skills. And if you have any questions about sales, don't hesitate to reach out. Find me on LinkedIn or click the Babble Me button on the website. With that said, that's all I have for this week. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.